I've been waiting for you. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. We've already cleared your transfers from criminal affairs. This is an order from the Union itself. Consider it a promotion you can't turn down. An order from the Union? W wait, wait a minute, Commander. I'm still the captain around here. And these two... They're my kids. You couldn't have run this by me before? Desperate times, Max. Captain or not, surely you understand the position humankind is in. I understand how you must feel, but I need you to be flexible. Ah, shit. Well then, I'll give you the short explanation. As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction. Most believe this is due to mass corruption from the gates. But the truth is, there are worse dangers, which the Union finds prudent to keep classified. Dangers from beyond the gates. Invaders from a dimension outside our own. Chimeras like the ones you've just seen for the first time. They're invisible to the naked eye, but they cast a dimensional shadow in certain circumstances. That's how we were able to detect them in the first place. But still, we were powerless to stop them. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Chimeras dragged countless victims back to their dimension. Their corruption tainted the land itself. With most of the planet uninhabitable, we survivors fled here, to this artificial island we call the Ark. We thought we were safe, and we were for a while. But as you know all too well, it didn't last. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. But I refuse to accept such a fate for our species. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. By neurologically sinking captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. The legions gave you your first look at the dangers we truly face, but also a taste of the pinnacle of human ingenuity. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with a legion. People like you. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process right now, but... Your species needs you. Your species chose you. The two of you hold the future of humankind in your hands. We're counting on you. And now, I hand you over to him. Well, it's been a while, huh? Your dad told me you'd join the police, but uh, I never imagined we'd see you here at Neuron. But growing up with Max around, it's no surprise you turned out tough. Now that you guys are here, let me officially welcome you to the team. Oh, you should have seen Max's face when he found out you were coming. But between us, I think he's happy you're here. There's only five of us right now, but there are more candidates waiting for the ARI to make more legions. I know the commander talks a lot of gloom and doom, but relax. More help is on the way. Uh, eventually. Anyway, first things first. It's time to get to know your legion.
There's a training room downstairs. We'll go there and work on your fundamentals. I'll call the others. Huh. Max isn't picking up. Uh, do me a favor and get him and Alicia for me, will you? I bet you'll find him up on the roof. I'll head downstairs and set up the training room. See you there in a bit. Oh, that's right. Open up the menu in your Legatus and you'll find a map of the station. It might come in handy if you get lost. Tutorials if I've ever heard it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Astral Chain. In the last episode, we had the worst first day ever and got our, our crevices kicked in, but also unluckily legions, who'd have thought? <laughs> but now, this episode, it, it's training day, we gotta go find our dad and get things done. But before we do, I want to see if we can find one particular person. Is it you? No, it's not. Bandage man who looks like the 2B or 9S. <laughs> it's platinum, who'd have thought? Anyway though, as, as we look around, we have a map of station, obviously. And this right now is a, this is a plus on what Platinum Games normally is. Yes, the pickup. That's exact, exactly what it is. <laughs> we get to explore explore a bit, but not a wide expan expansion. As we look inside our block arc, which opens up on its own. Oh, that's where we could change our style so we're not stuck with this for the rest of the game. I mean, come on, don't you? I mean, don't you have, you know, wigs or contact le lenses in your locker? You can change your costume, too. Hopefully that's not one of them, because that is incredibly creepy. <laughs> I just turned a corner and went, Yeah, hi. <laughs> But come on, don't you have extra wigs and contacts in your lock? I mean, come on, wasn't that in your school? <laughs> wasn't that in your gym, locker? I don't think so. But anyway, though, I get to have a look and dig this really cool soundtrack and I made the locals. As in locals, I mean fellow com comrades who have one no dialogues. And I like how the first place I go to is the medical bay. Hopefully that's not uh, <laughs> a moment to come. I think our character needs it after what he endured last episode. Numerous concussions were made. But anyway, though. What can I do for you today? The vending machine talks to us. <laughs> it looks like the Domino's animated thing. Hi! Can we chat to the vending machine? Okay, this I gotta hear. Also, I see new face on him. Sure, we'll get along very well. <laughs> a vending machine that can talk talk to us. Okay. What happens if What happens if we say no? Thank you for looking. See you again real soon. What can I do for you? Anything else? Or is that literally it? Thank you for looking. Okay, never mind. I was hoping there was no more dialogue. But what could not. you buy? <laughs> Good question. And give me a sec. I just saw what something funny do? there. I'm gonna guess it's health packs and what? Don't tell me, mate. So we can also sell to the vending machine because that's the way that it works. <laughs> so we can get one that refilled that gives us energy boost. You know what? Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna get them. <laughs> What's up? You made it really happy. Let's have a look. If I buy something? Yay! <laughs> I'm making a vending machine feel good. <laughs> all, all is right in my world. See your face, anime vending machine. I, I shall. And a, a nice little touch you have is because I'm clearly a male in real life and video game. I can't go into the girl girl's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice little touch. I just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but is there anything in the in the toilets. You can use it. Please keep it clean. What can I do in here? <laughs> Please tell me this is my saving point. I save. I save on the toilet. Wait, this is messy. Or is this? You kill. You picked up a toilet paper collectible. 
What? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, random voice in my head. Wait, there's someone in there. Oh, you can hear me. My name is Bell. I'm a fairy and I want to watch over the toilet in here. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a fairy. <laughs> it's a voice in his head. <sighs> it's true, really, but I need your help. See, there's no paper unless it's good to get me some. <laughs> what? Yeah, sure. I'm giving a, to a toilet troll paper. What a kind human. Thank you, truly. I gave the tissue. So probably blessed. <laughs> blessed. All right. Here's a gift. Whenever there's a to toilet in trouble, Bell will be right there. <laughs> you just completed a side quest, I guess. And it ended with uh, the to toilet flushing. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> And as we just get a, ni a nice look at the place, it I do like how it's si is similar to the Blade Barracks, uh, funny, a lot, lot more expansive and hope, hopefully a lot more character driven. Mm -hmm. I say that as I met a very friendly, very nice vending machine. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and find one, one of our people, one of them being our dad, who seems very, who seems very pissed and very happy. Uh, the fact that we're here. Do you think he's jealous that we're here immediately? Oh, it's nice that you didn't have to wait for the elevator. Nope. Lo loading times? Well, what is that? This is next gen, baby. Next gen? As in, like, holographic c c collectibles. Gimme. You know, y you know, medicine on the floor. That's definitely <laughs> fed healthiest. <sighs> As we pick up, we see our, hopefully not our dad, getting ready to leave. How rude. We cut to Neuron Captain Maximilian, aka Pan Fangry Dad. <laughs> you guys need something? Um, Jin was trying to reach you earlier, Dad. He told us to bring you down to the training room. You've got work to do. Uh huh. So that's the call you ignored earlier. So what's the matter, Dad? <laughs> Look, if I've never Don't call your me that ever again. <laughs> Jin can handle your training on his own. Look at I'm sorry, but I just can't help well, but look at Max's lip syncing just and he just sounds yeah. so pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's going I know it's a teeth. <laughs> it's it's like that mocking tone you use to uh, to uh, to describe a bitter old man. Yeah. It's just so spot on. Me look at it. <laughs> it's gonna be fun having you guys around. We get to torment the captain. Sorry. I don't like training my kids. I've done that enough already. I'm too busy. I'm I'm too busy staring out at the landscape. A picturesque bugger all. Now, what do you want, an old, old, old lady? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I mean, thanks. Madam? Miss? Mrs? Any other connotations I've missed? <laughs> oh, no. Either way, I want to have a look around because <laughs> I just like the sheen on the ground. It looks like it's constantly raining, even though it's not really, you know, raining. <laughs> Futuristic Earth! Because in the future, everything has got to be shiny. <laughs> because l let's face it, gaming has always told us shiny's good. At least what next gen console makers would want you to know. If a console looks shiny, it must be good. <laughs> and that's why a lot, a lot of uh, f first generation games are um, normally not good. Well, I say, and what I mean by first generation, I normally mean like launch titles. Anyway, training. But you know what? Let's go down to the garage. Let's see if we can find another ride to ruin, like our bikes. <clears throat> and I can't talk to the vending machine. I like how I headbutt the 
<laughs> yeah, ding 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 ding. <laughs> I'm a vending packer. Ding <laughs> ding. Oh, the dumbness, and that's one that's one reason why I want I wanted to come down here just for the random bits and bobs and medicine I can find, and as well as police cars which I I can't drive. Ah, yes, police, my favorite brand. <laughs> my my favorite brand of police car. I'll, I'm, I've noticed that there's a few people that are going to avoid this game just solely because they're police officers. Eh, may, maybe. Mm -hmm. But hey, if you're going to be that stingy, eh, it's not really worth, worth your time. <laughs> I'm probably going to say this right now. Despite the sort of like serious tone, writing by Platinum themselves, it's never been the best course of action. I could just simply look to Bayonetta for that one. But regardless, it's still it's still gonna be a fun time all round. What is with an animes anime just having their hair block at their vision? I mean, look at this guy. He's only got one eye with his hair. <laughs> but aesthetics aside, I mean I can't say look at my uh, look at my uh, luscious locks. <laughs> Let's all try training. There you are. We're with Jin, who hopefully will not stab uh, us in the back the on the first day. <laughs> oh, they, uh, the captain said you could handle it. Uh, that guy's more sensitive than he looks. Oh, well, I mean, that's not a bad thing, I guess. He's actually a big softy. <laughs> All right, I'll run you through the basics. Before we continue, strap this thing on your back. It's nothing. It's fit. It's air. Strap <laughs> air to your back. Except that air converted into what looks supposed to be a makeshift Roomba. But now, we've just had a not vision. Like <laughs> he does look like Shulk when you zoom in on his face. I, a vision. I see it. I'm wearing a stupid backpack. <laughs> anyway, though, Iris n a mixed reality system that overlays the vision in real time. So that's just ba it says basically our, our, how, how are you are. I'm going to assume. reality imaging system, Iris. You'll forget how you ever insert song cases, pun here. All right, let's start with an easy one. Point your iris at the computer terminal over there. Already done, chap. Okay, fine. That's one eye. That's one, I suppose. Oh, so it's like a third eye from Persona 5. Okay, let's do it then. Solving boost of elevation in the fire. Nothing else. Okay. Yes, yeah, so again, basically, basically a UI. I'm pressing the All button, right, it's not going on. There we are. Point your iris at the computer turn. Find it okay? All right, yes, now, mate, it's right there, terminal, although if, if, there, if, if there's two of them. It's a routine, so. You got it, pal. So. Try out a training program. Yes, okay, I get it. Oh yes, movement! My favorite training. Can you move your left leg? And can you move your right your right leg? I think you said you can skip some of the ones you already know. I'll like to assume so. Next up is dashing. Time to break a sweat. Let's see if you can dash through all these circles. What kind of delivery? What kind of delivery was that? All those circles. All those circles. I just wanted to see what would happen. Sorry. Time to break a sweat. Let's see if you can dash through all these circles. All these circles. All these circles. It was meant to be a. Uh... I <laughs> I can crouch. <laughs> <laughs> I am sneaking. <laughs> okay. What the? I'm doing it, mate. Time to break it. Don't. There, there we go. That's a little bit sen sensitive. It's all for this program. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Okay, so let's see if I can... Eh, let's say evasion, because right, since uh, this is my Try first time playing, I should probably learn how to dodge. I, up, I did it! I just, I just missed it after the fact. Let's try a <laughs> you ran away, pretty much. 
<laughs> as, soon, as soon as the thing, thing appeared, you, you ran away. I didn't think it would count if you just ran away like that. Ah! Ah! I'm running away! Ah! ah. Well, I did a good job. See, look, Dad! Duh, duh. This is why I run! <laughs> and the sister's watching and shaking her head at all this. Is this my brother? Are you serious? Haha! <laughs> Witch time! <laughs> Log to you too, good sir. <laughs> I countered. All right. That's all for this program. I did a badass kick. I are, are you happy? I'm just wondering what would it do if I completed them all. Just give me a moment, and we'll get to when we do Legion Control. Flick your right stick. What's a right ah. stick, dude? I don't know. I don't have one on my person. Well, I do have a stick, but I don't think I, I don't think I, I don't think I should use right, that end. in combat. <laughs> it would be very inefficient. <laughs> Just wiggling my crotch in front of an enemy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, PG thirteen, and I ate a I ate, I ate a Snickers bar. But mate, you are giving me a grenade. You do realize it's kind of a bad, a bad thing to use. Oh, you I have. On the this is a. This is a. This is a grenade. I should use this. <laughs> Want to use whose grenades? I think you have to push I, when I when I healed I pushed X twice. There it is. As oh, 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 oh. <laughs> splattered against the wall. Okay, so I have to have, have to double tap an item. That's pretty weird. But all right then, lead lead control. Let's get into the nit the nitty gritty of, of this game. That'll start you off on the right foot. It's good for when your target's high up. So we're uh, ju ju juggling essentially. And this is how I move. <laughs> that is awesome. He's doing a dance. Oh my god, he's wrapping me up in the chain. <laughs> the, ta <laughs> the table was upturned. Eh, I'm done with you. I said you're done. Thank you. Out of trouble. Okay. I yank I yanked his neck. You keep an eye on its limiter gauge. If that gauge hits zero, you won't be able to call the legion back out until it fills up again. Be sure to give the legion a All right, switch your legion off. Fine. Once you call off the Legion, they'll always watch your gate. An so skip. Remember, kids, always watch your gay. <laughs> oh, we are getting into so yeah, much trouble as we go on. Tutorial, tutorials are somehow uh, for the best to mess around. Oh, Jesus, all right. Move. We. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Don't worry, right. I'm watching my gay. <laughs> well, that was, that was easy. Right, let's, let's go on to Legion okay. attacks. This is gonna be my favorite part of this game. I feel. Okay, move. I, think I know. You just chained him up. <laughs> Pretty much. And he he's gone. Legion. Then let's move him around. And he backslashed. That's all for this it's program. like I can. It's like an AI show, but decent. <laughs> right, let's begin. 
Now I can bind. So this is pretty much what we were trying to do in the first place. Yes, I get it, Bay. I get it. Ring around. Ring around and swish swish stab. <laughs> I really like that mechanic. Mm -hmm. And it's got a lot of versatility uh, potential because, because of the different legions. I press the other tutorial again, I apologize. Well, I'll, I'll see you in the other one. Here's something cool you can do with your Legion's astral chain. First, if you if you if you term cool, you have my interest. <laughs> move your Legion and try to stop it with the chain. You can stop it with the chain and throw it back where it came from. Like a ricochet. I have to say it with great intensity. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah. Nice work. You're a natural. Can I be honest? I wouldn't say natural, Ju just really lucky. And now it's asking me to turn it off. Okay. Right, let's begin. Switch on your iris and give. Can you turn it off and back on again? Targets dangerous. You can see how much damage it's taken. You can also look up. I can. I just see the term C two. It's like it's like an un un unused Nia character. <laughs> okay, iris off. Iris off, Iris on, Iris off, Iris on. Oh my god, he turned it off! I'm gonna die now! <laughs> that was easy. It's like turning a light switch on and off again. Now it's time for aspire. Aspiring practice. Aberrations. Now can we use everything that and we've learned to our advantage? The answer is no. When you're ready to quit, choose change program or quit training from the system end. Would you want <laughs> two? Two the price of one? You, you, you know I would. <laughs> <laughs> How long is this chain? Can I tie up two? Where that goes, my Emily Jijin? And I'm dazed myself. That's not good. <laughs> it's a bit awkward to to move um, one both characters with both sticks. But apart from that, it is kind of nice. <laughs> Even though I will say, on our own, we're kind of crappy. Yeah. It's like, I just have, I have, I have a dingy little pistol. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, yeah, so already I can tell the bread and butter in this game is obviously in the Legion. And not really in the combat itself. It's pretty cool though, but I do agree with what you mentioned in, in the first episode though. The fact that you have to double tap triggers in order to make stuff happen, yeah, that is kind of weird for me. Mm -hmm. I wanna quit! I don't wanna die in training! <laughs> That'll do for today. And they died because I wanted to quit. <laughs> As shown here. <laughs> if it wasn't that obvious. Well, like I'll go on ahead and don't keep us all waiting, guys. We should go. <laughs> He's running away as if it's some kind of race. Oh, I'm gonna get there first. I'm gonna get there first. The command is gonna like me best. Weird to be saying this to my own brother, but well, I gotta say, it's nice working with you. I like how now we're just getting her intro when she when she was one of the first people talking in the game. But I'm sure we can show Dad that we're up to it. If we work hard, I know he'll come around in no time. And maybe he'll stop 
looking that way when he speaks. Instead of going... <laughs> Saving! I wonder, I wonder what would happen if I whack some people. Oh, I can't whack people outside the training room. <laughs> Damn it. It is, ni it is nice to know, though, that I can dash in and out of the um, train room. It is a bit sen. It is a bit weird, though, and... Why are you at the corner crying? It's told the, the fool indicates you begin to love us new bonds beyond that the cars keep the secrets. What are you, Persona? <laughs> you have... Arcana. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much Arcana. Right, a little bit of tech room there. I'm not using that one. I'm being a rebel. I said I'm being a rebel and using the opposite one. Take that game design. <laughs> I'm breaking the chains of, con of conventional game design by going in the bathroom again. <laughs> no, I think the fairies had enough of me for one day. <laughs> You're late, <sighs> newbie. A bright haired a bright headed now pink girl. It's it's a Trope of platinum, I, I suppose. <laughs> have requested our help with the case. About an hour ago, an unusually large number of gates opened up along Grand Avenue. A lot of gates means a lot of redshift. The local police are doing the best they can to handle the aberrations, but again, we're looking at way more gates than usual. To say they have their hands full is an understatement. Gates don't just appear like this without a chimera around somewhere. Not in these numbers. There are only five people on the Ark who stand a chance against Chimeras, and they're all in this room. For the others, useless. <laughs> That's why the regular police need your help. Get out there, find the Chimera, and take it down. I'll let the captain fill you in on the operational parameters. Roger. We don't know what this Chimera is capable of yet. You'll have your legions with you, but still. Keep your guard up, but don't forget, we can't risk letting any of you go through the gate after it either. Do whatever you can on this side, okay? That is all. You're on. Move out. Roger. Except for me, because <laughs> ex I'm, ex I'm badass. <laughs> so, looks like we have our next mission, guys. But I think we are going to say save that for the next episode we've had our training we've had our immature jokes and got those out the way <laughs> so anyway guys we'll see you in that in next episode in which we'll head off on our first mission i guess so as always guys fan for fans watching if you like the video be sure to hit that like and if you want to subscribe by all means the button is is not too far away from there and as always we appreciate it. And in the words of Jin, watch your gay. <laughs> See you next time, guys.